Hi, this is Bedia Bergsberg Arcade at bergsbergarcade.com, and this is tutorial 252, I believe. Now, we left off, we had just uh, got our attack in our mob AI setup, and I want to continue on with that. Now, in order to attack, he's actually going to need a weapon. So, I'm going to go ahead and actually spend this tutorial just on setting that up. Uh, so, there's probably not going to be a whole lot of code. So, I'm going to go in. Uh, so, it's not under prefabs, it's under my resources. Uh, should be like mobs. There we go. And I'm just going to start off with the Dungeon Guardian because that's the one I'm using right now. And I'm just going to drop him into my scene somewhere. And he actually does come with a few weapons of his own from his package. I'm not going to worry about those right now. I'm going to go ahead and um, see so he'll be under item. I'm just going to equip him with one of uh, the weapons I already have done. So I don't know, let's give him a nice big axe. So let's zoom in. I'm actually going to turn off the wireframe. I don't really need it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Uh, we can shrink this down now. And I want to click on my mob, which was the Dungeon Guardian. And I want to find where my weapon mount is. I already have that set up. Um, see, the only one I didn't set up was the hair mount because we don't have one. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to click on the weapon mount. It will bring me automatically to where it is in the hierarchy here. And if I open that up, I'm actually just going to look and see where these connect to. Okay, just went to his, uh, looks like his ring finger is underneath the weapon mount as well. And, yep, right there is where I want the weapon. So I'm going to shrink this down because I'm going to need to grab the weapon. And I'll just drag it, drop it on. It tells me I'm losing my prefab. That's okay. And then I'm going to want to come up here and reset its uh, position and rotation. And let's reset the position. I guess I could have just hit reset all. Not exactly what I want. Uh, let's actually try underneath the finger. Uh, it's still not exactly what I want. Uh, Hmm. I could just go ahead and change where the weapon mount is. It's definitely something I'm going to have to play around with. And I have gone over in previous videos how to fidget around with these things. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this back under what I've called the weapon mount. Because that's probably where his weapons fit perfectly. And I'm actually just going to manually move it. And we actually have a class that we did make earlier. Some sort of mesh offset or something like that. Uh, you could use that. Uh, that was why we created it. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just actually position it where I want it. Uh, roughly there in his hand. Uh, maybe. Well, to be honest, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to put it right about there. And of course, if I start it up, let's take a look. He's, I'm going to get an error because he doesn't have a spawn point. Right there. Uh, that's something we really should look into as well. Uh, let's head back into the scene. And there we go. I just wanted to make sure it was sitting right in his hand. There we go. We'll stop that. Um, see, we'll shrink this back up. And I should just be able to reassign him. There we go. I'll delete it. And. Let's go ahead and under resources, uh, resources, mobs. I'm just going to quickly check just to make sure it does have it. And there we go, it does. Uh, it's really wonky there. But anyway, let's go ahead and start it up. And since it's the only mob spawning right now, we'll go ahead and take a look to see if he does have it. And I want to see if it needs to be basically rotated in his hand a bit. Uh, that's actually fine. It seems to have lost its, um, texture though. Uh, let me just go ahead and take a look at that again. Uh, let me see. I'm actually going to go down to the item. Well, here, let's see how it spawns in the chest. So we'll just open up a chest. And I'm actually looking for the Sliffy. 
course, we have so many items now, the actual chance of seeing a Sliffy might be a little too rare. Well, I'm just going to give it one more try. I might not have its textures and everything else named right, but we'll see. Be nice just to see. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's, icon is fine. So I'm going to clean up this chest, open up our inventory, equip it. And yep, yeah, sure enough, it's actually not even spawning our, the spawning right for our player. So it looks like we're just actually missing the texture. And I'm going to come down. I'll fix that while I'm here. Uh, things like this will happen. And S-I-L-I-F-I. -I -I. Actually, if we come down and take a look at it, this has happened to me a few times now. Uh, I think it actually happened during uh, the update from one version to the other because I don't actually touch any of these resources and it still loses uh, connection sometimes. Uh, but if we notice here, it says Sliffy Material. And if we went and looked at something like Hatchet or all the rest of the axes or any of our other items, you'll notice it says uh, Axe 1, uh, Axe 2. And actually, we have this folder in here called Material. And you've got the Sliffy Material that we're using. And we have the sword one. This has actually happened in a different version. Uh, but as you see, I had to go in and actually fix it up. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, this it's now using this material. And if we actually had this as a prefab instead of just using the actual import from the 3D modeling package, uh, we could actually come up here and go to the 3D rendering and just actually swap out the material. Now, I don't feel like making a prefab of it just yet. So... What I'm going to do is actually come up to the original one, uh, which should have been, let um, see, it's the third one, so Axe 3. So if we go under uh, Material, Axe 3, here's the actual texture for it. And here's the actual material. I'm just going to copy all of these settings. And of course, I'll have to take some notes while the video is encoding that I actually have two materials that are for the same item, and I really should get rid of one. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and just copy all these settings. I'm not really sure if I'm ever going to make prefabs out of these items. If I don't, then I'll just delete this material. If I do, I'll probably go back and use this material and delete the one it created. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and select the Sliffy material. Uh, it's supposed to be specular according to the other one. Uh, shininess was about here. Uh, this was a, a gray, a light gray. So... Uh, probably around there. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say it's around there. And this was a light blue. Uh, I'm going to put it in, I don't know, around there. Uh, you could fiddle around these settings to make it, you know, as awesomely looking as possible. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show how to do it. Uh, so I got to come back up to Axe 3. Uh, here's the texture. I'll just drag that on. And that should be okay. I'm going to go ahead and start it back up. And uh, let's just do a quick look, see if it actually does spawn in the chest for us. Probably, probably won't, but eh, won't know unless we look, right? And I think I do want to actually increase the distance for my clicking on chest. So I'd like to be able to click from this distance, I think, instead of being right on top of it. But anyway, we'll click there, and sure enough, it didn't spawn. That's fine. We'll just go look at the one that the mob is holding, since it's using the exact same model uh, it should be the same and then you can already tell from this distance that it has a texture on it now I may not have the colors the specularity and everything else just right uh, I could probably turn that blue down just a little bit uh, but yeah, that's basically it he's got a weapon uh, it may not be positioned perfectly in his hand but you know it is in the hand that I want it in uh, later on when we start getting into creating stuff like uh, ranged weapons uh, I'm going to want to have some sort of, I guess, list of items that, you know, this particular mob can spawn with. So maybe he can get, uh, maybe not just the Sliffy, but maybe, you know, like the short sword, maybe a fork and maybe you know, like five different items, melee items that he can pick from. And when it spawns, it'll spawn uh, that mob in uh, with one of those random items. But right now, I just want to actually have him have a weapon in his hand that we can actually... I uh, get the visual representation with. And we are still going to have to actually create a weapon um, item for it because we actually need the class attached to it so we can get its uh, damage and everything else. Uh, but one step at a time. Anyway, 
I just wanted to get that set up. Um, he now actually has a weapon in hand. It looks like if we're going to use the same weapons, uh, if you're using the same asset siam, we are going to have to fiddle around with getting it positioned in the hand, right? So we'll probably have to go back and revisit that uh, mesh offset script. And uh, yeah, it's probably it for this video. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. And don't forget to uh, thumbs up if you actually like the series. It uh, really lets me know that you're actually interested in this series. And that's it for this video. Bye-bye. See you later.